here in the Adirondack Mountains, we've been lucky enough to have a couple days of great weather for ski flying. Towards the end of November, the lakes begin to freeze. Our lakes can be frozen from the end of November to the beginning of May. However, just because there's ice on the lake doesn't mean we have safe ice conditions. In theory, four or five inches of ice can support the weight of a Piper Cup. However, we always wait until there's usually about double that to get out on the ice. My name's Cassie. I live in Indian Lake in the heart of the Adirondacks, and uh, it's, a, it's a big playground here. I love spring weather temperatures with fresh snow on the ground and blue skies. Just the perfect spring day is just the best. Well, I really like combining sports, so when you've got ski flying going on and backcountry skiing where you're, you know, you're climbing up a mountain on your skis and somebody's flying over you on skis with their airplane and there's just so much going on and it's just so busy and, and fun and exciting um, and then you, you know, you ski down and you ride into town and meet them at the lake with the airplanes and that's, that's pretty ideal, it's pretty fun. So Rock Lake is this really cool, pretty small body of water that is really tucked back on the backside of Blue Mountain Lake in the heart of the Adirondacks. Uh, it's, it's great for recreation, but it does take a little bit to get there. So Emily and I walked about, uh, about half a mile on a trail. Uh, we did do a little bit of that walk on snowmobile trails and a little bit on snowshoe trails. So there's a lot of levels going on with winter recreation here and it's so fun to come out and, and see these ice fishermen getting really excited about the airplanes. We're really excited about the airplanes and it's fun to just go meet everybody and spend an afternoon on the ice. So this Piper Cub is fitted with Federal SC1 wheel replacement skis. You take the wheels off and put the skis on. They attach with bungee cords and safety cables to limit their degrees of travel. According to the logbooks, this cub was first put on skis in the winter of 1941 into 1942, where it was used to train pilots for World War II. Over the last two days, we've been flying with a large group of people in airplanes. This has brought us to some of the most beautiful parts of the Adirondack Mountains. So the Cub usually cruises around 85 miles an hour. When you're cruising down the lake, it's not uncommon to see snowmobiles going much faster than this. Every now and then they'll leave you in the dust.
way of flying always includes a good cup of hot chocolate at the end of a long day flying with good friends. We're happy to introduce the newest member of our video series. Teddy's 21 years old and just passed his private check ride two days ago. He also took his private check ride on skis. He flies it on floats and skis, and funny enough, he's never flown it on wheels.